And we're uh, just waiting for the numbers to come out here. And so far, what we've seen is a few numbers underneath. Here we go. Unemployment, uh, employment, r father, rose. I'm sorry. I'm a little stunned here by this number. Employment rose by two and a half million in May, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The unemployment rate fell to 13.3 percent. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, we're going to have to look at these numbers uh, very, uh, very deeply and see exactly what is going on here. Um, the unemployment rate declining by 1.4 percentage points. The number of unemployed people fell by 2.1 million to 21.0 million. Uh, the major groups here uh, show that uh, black unemployment, uh, let me see if I can find that here, uh, went to 16.8 percent, Asians 15 percent, little change on the month, the white unemployment rate 12.4 percent. In terms of the uh, overall statistics, average weekly hours really bounce. Uh, they go up to 34.7 from 34.2. So those who are working are working harder. Average hourly earnings did fall by 1% during the month. Uh, that takes the year-over-year -year rate down to 6.7%. Those are all distorted by uh, what we have seen in the labor markets, people who make less falling out of the labor force. The labor force participation rate goes up to 60.8% 60.2. And Tom, you were talking about the U6, 21.2 percent. That's a drop from 22.8 percent. So uh, what may have happened here is the payroll protection plan may have actually helped along with a few states starting to reopen, although uh, this, remember, is a survey taken during the month, uh, during the week that begins or that includes the 12th of the month. So it's early in May. So this does show that the U.S. economy is perhaps a lot more resilient than we anticipated.